everyone and welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is rainy you can also call me Ezine if you're new here thank you for stopping by thank you for watching my video my OG that have been watching my video thank you so much so if you have not subscribed to my channel this is the perfect time for you to do so click on the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you like it so diving straight up into today's juicy scoop okay you know we're still on the reunion series and it has not ended ah i don't know why don't ask me why because i'm not big brother but we have to keep on doing what we are doing until they are tired and we are not going to get tired okay okay so guys in today's show i told you as always everything is now subtle everything is now calm everyone like love is leading more like the vibe they're giving in the house so today ebuka was talking about like control versus that happen outside the house everything discussed on this episode was basically what happened outside the big brother house so he started off with jackie jackie and omashola had an issue where they in fact they online their fans everybody they were just fighting you know omashola tweeted i'm going to write i'm going to uh, give you a screenshot of it on the screen here and read it out so that you guys will see it and in that tweet it's jackie's name was mentioned and omashola said he did not intend it to be jackie he was talking about jackie the animal so jackie insulted omashola like serious insult and then omashola did not find it funny okay so jackie said she had a series of meetings that day and her brother reached out to her kim reached out to her nk reached out to her and nk was like babe that thing is too harsh please can you take it down then later the brother called and the brother told her the same thing and she was like i have already written what i wrote and everybody has seen it so there's no point taking it down so she now tried to reach out to omashola and omashola was raining insults on her so she couldn't bear it and she had to insult him back in fact they carried the matter into their whatsapp group they were giving insulting themselves through voice notes and all that in fact according to them it was really heated and i know that period i saw the tweet i saw uh, uh, it was on instagram that i saw it and it was really really bad jackie really came for mashala and you know mashala he gave it back to her mass both like bomba to bomba but thankfully two weeks later everything was settled because he said his brand Euphoria carved that his carved that he was launching it or be having a get together or something like that and the housemates were supposed to come and he saw Jackie there so they literally hugged themselves and that was it they have always been good friends and the two of them said they, that they were actually surprised that they had to get to that point and jackie said because why she thought amashala uh, was referring to her was because she amashala uh, always used that to joke with her like why you they always walk you two they walk jackie you two they walk you know so when he now used that thing it seems like he was referring to her like so it came to Telma and Telma's issue was the fact that there was a point there was a time rumor was going around that her fans got her a Benz a car and then Ibuka asked what really happened your fans said they got you a car you said you did not get you a car please tell us what actually happened who bought the car so she said she got a brand deal and that brand sponsored her meet and greet with her fans so when she got there she signed the papers met her fans and lo and behold there was a car decorated with bolombolo like balloons and surprisingly they gave her the keys and said this key is for you we got you this car and she was like she has never heard that before like a brand deal and a car a Benz for that matter so immediately people were covering the event so and they posted it on instagram before you know it insta blog picked it a lot of people picked it a lot of blogs picked it and started posting saying that her fans got her uh bends and you know it was her meet and greet so the gist was sounding like it was true and she said throughout that day she'd not even go online and she'd not post anything so the next day for her to post she saw things that were trending online and she debunked that fact immediately these are the people that gave me this car my Benz, I don't know if they can even afford to buy me a Benz, even if they want to buy me a car, you know? Avala was asked what she thought about the whole scenario. Avala said she actually thought that her fans got her a car. It's good that she has debunked everything and now everyone 
really knows what the what actually went down that her fans that they should come and buy her a cow you know it's like she doesn't really have a strong fan base because the way she was sounding like her fans were not really that supportive and all that but any which way next was mercy mercy had a deal with a champagne international champagne company okay she said according to her she and her manager and all her management they went and signed that deal and the deal they said they were going to give her part payment okay and all what not she said they even did some uh, celebration for her red carpet show and all what not and it was just orally they had just told her orally about it and they even went ahead to pay in the money into her account even when she had not signed the deal okay so she was still waiting for them to bring the real thing the actual paper for them to finally sign it and finalize the whole stuff and then she saw a tweet or on instagram where someone a fan that is not her fan went and was telling them i, I heard that you guys signed messi in you will have to be careful messi is not a good person tarnishing her image and the person that replied the mail or the tweet was kind of denying Messi like she doesn't know anything about Messi. This da 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 da. Messi said when she saw that she wasn't happy at all, like they are kind of tarnishing her image. Why will you be denying that you don't know me for what? She said she had to involve her management and her lawyer and told them everything was happening. Everyone advised her, including herself. She had to refund them the money. So she first of all reached out to them and told them, see, you guys will have to make a public statement stating that what you said, you don't really mean it or is not true, that I'm working for you guys. You cannot be denying me now. Like you called me, I no call myself. You have to tender an apology, a public statement or an apology saying that actually you are signing me into your com company and all whatnot and they refused to do that so she waited for them when they didn't do it she had to refund her money back to her so if you can ask her what do you think that is an international company for crying out loud why did you take that big risk she said no matter the money that her image is better than whatever she doesn't like to tarnish her image whatsoever that's why when this issue of fan fans 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 happens that it's really used to get to her because she doesn't want to tarnish her image for no reason so guys that was all on about all that happened in the reunion show for this episode guys so we have come to the end of today's video if you did enjoy it please give this video a huge thumbs up you can go ahead and share it if you want to and also leave me a comment so that the gist will continue down below okay also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye